So, um, here's one of our spells. I would run more if I could, but I can't. This is the reason why I don't have more copies of stuff. It's Warlord Sword Release. Pay a gauge and two life to use. Get you closer to bots, people. Um, when you when you use it for each different world name on your field, not in your drop zone, but on your field, draw a card. Here's what you want to do. Get full full, get an item from um, Legend World, get bots, either bots, get um, and get um, a size zero from a, a size one from a different world that I don't care about a size one um something and yeah you get to drop four cards with this thing. Staple with an empire. I don't run more because I don't have enough copies. But Sun Mikado, people, Sun, <laughs> it's good. Run it, please. Bots X again. Once again, just like X Warlord Infinity. This is important. I don't run more because even though it's a rare, I got this from a tournament that I randomly opened a pack of, and this is what I pulled from it. I would run more. But Amazon doesn't like being nice to me. Um, anyway, here's a box that again does pay a gauge, counter, restand the bots on your field. So even if you don't have Heptar, I mean, if, even if you don't have Pentar, if they somehow arrest your bots, pay a gauge. Bots that's again, restand, boys, let's go. <laughs> attack, double attack, triple attack, beat the crap out of them with it. Always run it at four and nothing less. I run it at three, I run it at one because I don't have more copies. It's good. It's a good restandard. Always run multiples. Thunder X, goodbye. A good spell. Pay a gauge and bounce one of your monsters on your field to cast it. You can only cast it during the opponent's turn. Bounce a monster on their field. Run it. Because of multi-attack arrows, this gets rid of a lot of them. And against Gear God, because I've played this matchup before with this thing, this thing saved me because Gear God got pushed out of the field by this, and I didn't get overkilled, and I won the game because Sovereign over here is a, because Sovereign is annoying. Run this at four at all times. I run it at two because I open up X dual chest, and X dual chest only gave me two of these, unfortunately. Thank you. So, our next spell would be the Fighter's Oath. As you can see, Dungeon World Monsters here on a Legend World card. The road has clearly lost its mind, and so is Busher Road. So, um, when cast, you put the top cards of your deck into your gauge, equal to the number of different world names on your field, and then you gain life. Combo this with Warlord Sword and with Warlord Sword Release, because that essentially means if you use Warlord Sword Release, you're paying two life and a gauge. Draw four if you're using it properly. And then cast this to gain back the two life that you lost along with another two and two gauge. I mean, four gauge. Run it because it's good. Once again, X dual chest card. Only got two copies of it. Run more. I would say, like, run three of this. Run three cop. I uh, run four copies of Thunder X Goodbye. They're good cards. So now, Distinguish a Punisher. Even though I do only own two, even if I had more. I'd run it at two still because you only run this if you're using the overthrow variant and the overthrow variant is highly relied on you actually pulling the overthrow and their Pacific item card that counts as a size one kind of like Takasuke. So and involves a lot of milling. So still. This gives you a three gauge and one life if you have Thunder Empire card on your field. Only run this if your deck has either a gauge problem or if you just want to get out bots some more and use his overthrow because he's good. Run it. Yeah, just run it, please. Thunder Emperor Bot Stone, Thunder Emperor's Ajite. An amazing nullify. This is basically Green Dragon Shield for Cotino World and Thunder Empire, but better. Here's why. Sure you have to have a Thunder Empire I am equipped to use it, but you can use it even if you have a monster in your center. Green Dragon Shield, get wrecked. Boom! <laughs> you gain a life when you cast it, and it nullifies the attack. It's a better Green Dragon Shield. Always run it at four. 
I run it at two because deck space and once again next door chest. Overpowering our dragons. Don't run this unless you need filler space. I run this because of an impact that I use. Otherwise I would not be running this. It's kind of like your basic plus three plus three counterattack, but instead it only works on Thunder Iron Pirates. You give it plus four plus four. You don't give it counterattack, but instead you get to draw. Good uses for raw, but problem with this is that Thunder Empires don't really have that much defense. I only run this because against defensive decks, this works out better, I guess. And against Gone, it works out better. Also, you get a free draw off of it, and this nullifies Gone's effect. Get wrecked. Um, Secret Dragon Life. Exhalation, our next spell. Cast Cost. Two or more different world names, two more different world names and drop. This should be easy for you. Um, ca when, it, when you cast it, gain three life. Simple as that. Just an amazing card for Thunder Empire. This saved my buddy over here, Raymond's life one time in a buddy fight because we just did a buddy fight tournament at school. Oh no, I'm sorry. This saved my friend Dallas' life one time because we did a buddy fight tournament at school. He used this to survive an impact. And then he won the game next turn due to Sovereign Bots. This card is great. Run it. Always. Always run this. At least at two. <laughs> Preferably at four. But I run it at two because I can. And then our last card. As you can see, we only have two nullifies, but we have technically six cards that act as nullifies. Thunder Rex Triguard. Cast cost. You cannot have a monster in the center, and you... Yeah, you just can't have a monster in the center. It's kind of like a dragon chill for this, for this deck. Um, nullify the attack. If you have two more different runnings on the field, gain a gauge, three or more, gain a life. It's Sun Dragon Shield, but takes more effort out of it. On I only run this because I need more nullifies in the deck. Yeah, just run it for nullifies, I guess. And now, on to the beautiful items that we have. Thunderstroke, Kieran Olds. 5k power, 1 crit. It has equipment change, which means if it's in your hand, you can equip it from your hand and then bounce an item that you currently have to your hand and then equip it. There's this beautiful OTK combo that exists, but I don't own the OTK combo. But if I did, I would show you, and I think I might actually own it later in the future due to a friend of mine. Thank you, people. So, anyways, on attack, give a Thunder Empire, give a card on your field plus 2k and a crit. Use this with Sovereign Bots, people. That's a total of 9 crit. And six damage that cannot be done, that, that cannot be undone with along three monsters dying from it with Penetrate. Comments to Sovereign Bots, people. One from me. It's a really good card and should not be run at less than four in a Sovereign's Bots deck. I went at two because my bot, my deck isn't completely focused on bots. Our last item, Electric Spear. Pay gauge to equip if you have two or more. Then it press on the field gets Penetrate, 5k power, 2 crit. Decent. I run it because my other Thunder Empire card is in my other deck. And even though it looks like I have four items, remember, Taco Suke counts as an item. So, running six items. Don't run this unless you really have no other choice. Please, help your life. Save yourself. Don't be a me. Now on to our impacts. Our first one is T Thunder Sword X Tempest Blade. So, it's pay... So, you can only cast this... If you if your opponent has four life for less and you've attacked two or more times this turn, take note. This is a better gargantua punisher because all you need to do is attack twice in this deck, and because this deck is a multi-attack deck, if you do not attack twice in a turn, then your opponent's cheating or you don't know how to play this game properly. So pay four gauge, deal four damage. Note that this gets over any wall deck and is not a gargantua punisher. Beautiful. I run it at 3 because I can, and it's not that good of an impact, but it's good. Finally, Turbulent Thunder Sword, Rupture X Tempest Blade. I No, Slash. I knew I would screw that name up some way, somehow. So it's, you can only cast if your opponent's at 5 or less, and you get Thunder Emperor and I'm equipped. Pay 3 gauge for each different roll name and drop, deal a damage. This is how you OTK people with Thunder Edge, Sovereign Bots, and your item. Run it. This is how Thunder Empire should be ran. Well, guys, that was the deck. Oh, by the way, here's my beautiful life counter. It's a bots and me. 
You see, this is me. Th this is me as the anime character. I'm better than him and always possible. Bots is my true buddy. Get out of here. So, <laughs> this was the deck, guys. Um, we're going to be posting more games soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this buddy fight deck profile. Bots is an amazing deck. You should definitely run it, in my opinion. Run overthrow bots over this thing, but still. This is our fight. And later in the videos, um, later in the videos, you'll get to see us be better at this game. Come on, Raymond. So anyways, now the fun part. Don't forget to check, check us out. out. Thank you for watching.